Mr. Speaker, some Syrian refugees have been stuck in cramped temporary accommodations for weeks. They say there is hardly any communications from the government. Also, we are hearing reports of low-income Canadians being asked to leave their housing to make room for the Syrian refugees. Will the Minister apologize to Canadians and refugees for his failure to provide long-term living solutions for Syrian refugees because refugees are people, not number on a scorecard? Well, Minister of Immigration and Refugees. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member from Markham Unionville for that question. I can assure him and I can assure Canadians that the vast majority of these refugees are super happy to be in this country, as they've expressed to the media, as they've expressed to me. And yes, in the course of accepting thousands of new Canadians, everything will not be perfect at every instant, and there are some issues in hotels which we are dealing with, but it is perfectly normal for refugees to spend some weeks in hotels before going on to their permanent accommodation and all the workers and all the Canadians and all the levels of government and all the volunteers are doing this, this exchanging of writing names is confusing for the speaker. The will member for Markham Union Mill. Mr. Speaker, the Parliamentary Secretary for Immigration is on the record saying that the government's policy is to, quote, treat Syrian refugees differently than refugees from the other parts of the world. Can the minister confirm that this is the government's policy and explain if being treated differently means being stuck in the temporary cramped housing for weeks? The Minister of Immigration. Mr. Speaker, Canadians across this land are welcoming with open arms and open hearts these Syrian refugees. They are proceeding uh, quickly to their housing. Yes, they are spending some time in hotels. That is normal for the process. And it is also the case that refugee applicants from other countries are proceeding as planned. So Canadians can be reassured that this operation is a great success, and we will soon have 25,000 new Canadians in, on our soil. 